Hey everyone, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks, and today we're taking a look at three strong buy stocks. So let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here. Today, we're taking a look at three stocks that come in with a strong buy consensus from Wall Street, have double digit upside potential, and are also all priced under $30 per share. So we're gonna take a quick look at these companies, what it is that they do, and what has analysts feeling bullish about the stock's future. You can follow along with these stocks over on the TipRanks website, or by downloading the TipRanks mobile app using the links in the description down below. And just as a side note, there is still construction happening next door so i do apologize if you hear some hammers in the background hopefully it won't be too bad now let's get right into our three strong buy stocks we're kicking things off with our least expensive stock today with biosera's crop solutions their stock trades under the ticker biox and is currently priced just above 13 dollars per share over the past year the stock is up 13 and percent and has climbed 7.7 percent in the last three months they do score an 8 out of 10 on the tip rank smart score Biosera's Crop Solutions is an agricultural research company, and they've developed the industry's first drought-resistant strains of wheat and soybeans. And those are two of the world's major staple crops. Biosera's uses a unique proprietary biotech platform to develop its seeds and is working on the next generation of agricultural solutions. Now, beyond their seed and integrated products division, they also have a crop protection and crop nutrition division. From the farmer's perspective, Biosera's is working to improve crop yields from three major directions, with improved seeds, improved pest control, and improved fertilizers and other crop health products. They shared their Q2 earnings report back on February 8th, and while their earnings per share did fall short of expectations, the company saw revenue grow 49% year over year. For their second quarter, the company reported earnings per share of two cents, and that did fall seven cents short of analyst expectations, but revenue did come out ahead of estimates at 140.2 million, which grew 49%. The company said that the growth during the quarter was mainly driven by a strong summer crop season in the Southern Hemisphere with resumed product demand post drought in Argentina. On top of that, they also announced that they were awarded a new U.S. patent for their HB4 soy, extending their protection until 2042. One analyst from Oppenheimer reiterated their buy rating following that report. They noted that the quarterly results reflected a return to their double-digit growth model, normalizing growing conditions in Argentina and progress against securing its future growth runway. They said that improved conditions provide an attractive backdrop for their top-line growth, and that they believe the company's ongoing shift towards lower capital-intensive revenue streams will see continued cash unlocked for reinvesting in future growth. Biosera's stock does just have three current analyst ratings, but it does come in with unanimous buys. And the average price target of $20 per share would imply upside potential of over 51%. Down below, we can see those recent ratings all coming in here in February, ranging from 29% upside all the way to nearly 90%. Our second strong buy stock is Coterra Energy. They trade under the ticker CTRA and are priced just shy of $26 per share. They have seen some ups and downs this past year, overall up 8.7%, cooling off slightly in the last few months. They do currently score a 10 out of 10 on the TipRank Smart Score. Coterra is an oil and gas exploration and production firm based out of Texas. They have solid assets in both oil and natural gas, creating a diversified portfolio capable of weathering economic headwinds. This portfolio includes a total of 672,000 net acres across their operating areas of the Permian Basin, the Andarco Basin in Oklahoma, and the Marcellus Shale in the Pennsylvania Appalachians. Coterra shared their Q4 and year-end results just last week on February 22nd. Once again, earnings per share fell slightly short, but the company did provide a new three-year outlook and an increase to their dividend. Coterra reported net income of $416 million for Q4 and $1.625 billion for the full year. Their earnings per share came in at $0.52, cents, which was a few cents short of expectations, but the company did announce a 5% increase to their quarterly dividend. They did say that their total barrels of oil equivalent and oil production beat the high end of their guidance for the fourth quarter. Following this quarterly report, we did hear from a five-star analyst at Citi. 
They reiterated their buy rating, noting that Cotera has outlined an impressive forward plan among exploration and production companies, projecting reduced capital expenditures over the next few years while still managing to increase oil production at a compounded annual growth rate of over 5%. He suggests that with a more normalized gas price forecast for the coming years, the improvements in capital efficiency should be duly appreciated by the market. With 14 current analyst ratings, the Cotera stock does come in as a strong buy with just one hold. And the average price target of $32.50 would be an upside potential of over 24% from current prices. Down below, looking at our list of recent ratings, we do have that one hold rating from Truist Financial with a fairly flat price target, and then a lot of the rest all in those double-digit upside potentials with a high-end price target of 34% from two places, both Mizuho and Siebert Williams. And our third strong buy stock is Camping World Holdings. They trade under the ticker CWH and are currently priced at $26.92 per share. Again, we have some ups and downs in the past year, but overall they're up nearly 25% and have climbed about the same in just the last three months. They score a 10 out of 10 on the TipRank Smart Score. Camping World Holdings is one of the largest companies in the outdoor recreation niche. Camping World is mainly a dealer in new and used recreational vehicles, as well as RV rentals, but the company also deals in RV accessories, both for the vehicles, boats and other watercraft, portable generators, and camping equipment. They have become the U.S. leisure market's largest RV dealer and a leader in related outdoor and camping products, and have been in business since 1966. Camping World does also pay a quarterly dividend currently at 13 cents per share for a dividend yield of nearly 6%, and their next ex-dividend date is coming up in a few weeks on March 13th. Camping World shared their latest quarterly results last week on the 21st. Now, they did miss revenue expectations, but posted a narrower-than-expected loss for the quarter. The company also said they're anticipating record revenues in the coming years and that they had plans to expand their dealership network by adding 25 to 30 new locations. For the fourth quarter, the company reported revenue of $1.1 billion, which did miss expectations by $40 million and did fall 13% year-over-year. They posted a loss per share of $0.47, cents, which was narrower than analysts had anticipated. Looking ahead, the company did say that margin compression in their Q1 is seen as a temporary challenge, and they're expecting recovery in subsequent quarters. One analyst from Citi increased their price target on the stock following that latest report. The analyst said that new units have turned nicely positive for the company over the past 90 days. The 2024 outlook for Camping World is largely unchanged, although the shape of the growth is much more back half weighted than investors typically like to see. Nonetheless, the firm has seen enough positive indicators to give it confidence that the Camping World story is very much on track. With eight analysts currently weighing in on the Camping World stock, it is rated a strong buy with unanimous buy ratings. The average price target comes in just above $30 per share for an upside potential of 14%. Looking down below at the most recent ratings in the last few months, we have a couple on the low end at 4.5% upside and a high end from BMO with an upside of over 30%. So that is a quick look at three companies all coming in with a strong buy rating from Wall Street and currently priced under $30 per share. Let me know your thoughts on these companies in the comments down below. I always appreciate hearing from you guys. And of course, please don't forget that these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock, just keeping you up to date with what those Wall Street analysts are looking at. So please make sure you always stick to your own investment plan. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you back here next time.